Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 20 climbing the ladder. And this is episode 9. So, uh, yeah, last uh, match we had uh, lost and looked like we were on the razor's edge. We beat Concord 3-2. to two. Lee Cook, uh, Emmanuel Cousins with goals. Jamie Clifton got a penalty. We gave up a 90th minute to make it close. So we actually looked pretty good. And then we lost to Walking. We gave up two early goals to Kieran McGee, and we got one back with Nicky Watkins. Adam Brown ended up getting sent off uh, midway through the second half, and uh, we never could get the comeback. And we all we lost two to one. So uh, that currently has us twenty points, only one point out of relegation, avoiding relegation, but. The board has called us in. So I'm going to attend the meeting. Uh, let's see. We're not happy. Well, it is my first job. I don't want to put that off. Let's see. You know, I'm going to say I like that one. Because if we look, right? Avoiding relegation. We're only one point out of that, right? It's not horrible. Now, see, they're devastated. We got a lot of matches left. So that, yes, these are not good. These are not good. But I think we're still on course for this. I don't think that's going to be the answer that they want. So I, it's either first job. Uh, that's not true. We haven't really played well. What? Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened. All right, well, we just got canned. All right, well, that's interesting. That was kind of anticlimactic. I kind of knew it was it was coming. So I don't know what just happened right there. Um, I, I gave them the answer about another month, and they said, well, you know, we can't reach that point total. You're fired. So, okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to come back uh, Burnley fired someone too. Um, all right, I'm looking forward to the future already. Uh, da, da, da. Yep. No. Yeah, I'm hopeful of taking a positive next step. Uh, da, da, da. You know, do I take the high road here? We'll take the high road. <laughs> All right. So, as I said, uh, we will go ahead and just, uh, you know, I will work my way forward. We will be looking for jobs. Um, just to refresh your memory on the leagues that we're dealing with. So, we have had, all we had in initially was England. So we've added in all these other leagues. Uh, so we are just going to kind of go forward. Let's look at Job Center right now, I suppose. Uh, so we have some Finnish first divisions. Just out of curiosity. Uh, overview. General. All right, so they have two-star reputation, semi-professional. All right, well, I'm going to look around. Uh, I don't know if, if we wait for, if we apply for jobs, if we wait for jobs to come to us. Looks like the only thing, eh, we've got some, some clubs down in the Vonorama. Oh, quite a few jobs, in fact. Oh, there's Dunstable. <laughs> Simon Broad can't get four jobs. Do I maybe apply for one of those? Um, don't know. 
championship. Can I get a premier job? Oh, maybe I could go be Everton's assistant coach. Maybe. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, I'll be back uh, with some job information here in a minute. Well, it's been a while, guys. If you'll check the date, we're in 3rd of July, 2050. So we have progressed into the middle of the following year since being terminated. Uh, we have uh, applied for a lot of jobs. We have been laughed at, ignored, um, and we finally got an offer. Uh, we had an interview, the first interview we've had, so we're taking the job. It's Eastbourne Borough. Uh, I will make 3.2 thousand a month to be the head coach at Priory Lane. Nice. If the club is relegated, we would be unable to keep you in the role. So we have a transfer budget of 220, 29,000 on payroll. Uh, they want me to work within the payroll budget, develop players using the youth system, fight bravely against relegation in the Vonorama South, reach the third qualifying round and be competitive in the trophy. Uh, moving forward, repair the club's financial damage and grow the club's reputation. So we're gonna start negotiations. Uh, they are giving me a job for one year, 12 months, and uh, yep, we're going to just take that and move on. And we are now the head coach of Eastbourne Borough. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the boardroom. Here we go. Welcome. All right, we got a nice little boardroom. Don't, I'm not a big fan of red kits, you know? All right. All right, well, let me get this piece together. And, well, let's look at some of the stuff together, and then I'll get into some of the stuff. So, they won the English Southern Combination League in 2000. They play at Priory Lane. Stadium was built in 1988, so after I graduated high school. That's nice. 4,151 capacity. Uh, media prediction is 21st. They have a half star. Uh, yeah, so, boom. Uh, schedule a press conference. No, that would be a no. Confirm. Okay, confirm. Thank you. All right. Yep. Tactics. Yep. Cajun declines to meet the press. All right. Let's see where we're at. So we have a match in six days. They've only had one friendly. So we have a couple of friendlies to work on our tactic. So that's good. Gives us a little bit of time. Let's check the competition. We're familiar with the uh, National League South, sort of. Uh, let's see. Didcot's still there. So Didcot stayed up. Dunstable did stay up. Uh, let's see. Can I check out? All right. So, you know, and they didn't stay up by much. One point. I think I could have done that. I think it, with a few, with maybe like five or six more games, I think our, our tactic would have started, you know, the training. And I think we could have done well. I think we, God, 106 and 105 points. Jesus. Um, so Kingstonian, Farnborough, Mersham, and Concord were relegated. Dunstable stayed up. So that's good. We can get some revenge on them this year. And then this season... Uh, we are season preview. We are recently promoted, which is good. I like that. Uh, 45 to 1 and 26, 27. All right, so this is a club that had been in the Vonorama back when we started. And then remember, I simmed ahead 30 years. So they were here for about five seasons five or six seasons fell out and have not returned until just now. So that's, that's interesting. I like that. Um, I do want to go ahead and set some things up. Uh, I will do that off camera and we will come back. Uh, well, let's see. We're only, we're only about 10 minutes into this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, it, well, you know what? No, let's do this right now. Um, club info. 
Eastbourne Borough. All right, let's see where we go. All right, so let's scroll out just a little bit. Let me get my bearings here. Having never been to England, only knowing about it from, my dad's been there. My dad went there uh, TDY once. All right, so here's London. And we came from right up in this area, right? Near Milton Keys and Luton. Dunstable, there it is. All right, so London. So we're going south. Uh, what are we going on the A22, I guess? Maybe the easiest way to get there. There's really no easy way to get there. I mean, you've got to go around through Mayersfield and Uckfield or over through uh, Hastings and then down the coast. That might be a nice drive. Uh, but anyway, we are way down here in the Eastburn area, uh, down on the coast, uh, Stone Cross, Norman's Bay, uh let's see and let's we've got some green there so not a large it looks like we're actually off to the east side of the city saint catherine's college a crematorium i guess that's where they get rid of their old coaches uh, a food co-op over there so yeah it looks like most of the city is off to the west here so we're right on the fringe of town and uh yeah we're not going to have a picture of the club it looks like can we do a saddle oh there we go satellite view hello yeah let's scroll back out here there we go that's what i'm looking for all right so yeah we've got uh the cities out here and we're kind of out in the farmland uh yeah that's good off of priory lane all right so pretty nice pitch Looks like we've got a covered stand on this side. Uh, we've got uh, a small training area for like some smaller drills. Could be a basketball court, but I'm, I'm thinking we're using that as a, you know, like a three-on-three -three attacking defensive type thing. That's what I'm thinking there. Looks like we may have some indoor facilities here that we can train in. Uh, let's see. Can I a street view? Can I take a street view? Not really. The closest street view is right over here. Well, we need to cut their grass. That house is for sale. Looks like it's out of keep. I might be able to swing that. All right. EBFC. A preseason friendly against AFC Wimbledon. Best demolition. I don't know if they're coming in or going. All right, so we've got the hedges, so you can't uh, can't see in here. Um, let's see if we scoot down the road a little bit, if we can see anything. Don't think so. Not really. All right, let's come back up. All right, well, there's a little bit of the pitch. That's a little car. All right, let's go back over there. How close can I get? I think that's it. All right, well, that looks like the clubhouse meeting area. And uh, yeah, well, unfortunately, we can't see much of the pitch at all. Um, can't get down that way. I wonder if we can scoot down this way and see anything. I don't even believe there was any roads there. All right, yeah, now we're into a subdivision, right? Um, hmm. Whoa, Shelly Walk. All right, well, not a whole lot there, guys. Let's see if we can see some pictures at least. All right, so, you know, there, okay, there's the, that's the pitch. So this is where we were at over here. Nice little uh, training uh, facilities here. That's pretty nice. Nice looking stand. All right. Uh, there's a better picture of the end. All right. So we've got, that's probably what, press boxes, some covered seating in there. All right. There's the covered area. I think that may be the visitor's side, possibly. 
because I think that's the larger side that uh, the home fans would sit sit at. All right. Interesting. Looks like they actually have seating all the way around. So, well, what do you guys think? I guess I'm happy. I'm, I'm certainly happy to be here. <laughs> I hope we uh, can get uh, oh, a synthetic grass. Good condition. Built in 88. Uh, let's see. Key player, Dean Jones. He's a right back. Pace. Not very good at marking or anything. He has some first touch. He's brave. That's good. Uh, let's see. Squad, club info. Well, let's look at the squad here. Um, we don't know the guys yet. All right. Well, I tell you what. Uh, oof. They're playing fives. Ugh. That's not good. Not good at all. But they did get promoted, so we've got to make some some transfers. Uh, we do have two hundred and we have a million in the bank. That's good. So first thing I want to do is start a coaching course. Ah, uh, damn it! You guys suck. All right, we'll accept that. We'll do that. Uh, Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna go in. I need to get uh, I need to get some staff hired. But we've got we've got some finances. We've got 222 thousand in transfer. They want us to increase revenue from one million to 2.6 million. If I go up, you're gonna drop the rev. Oh, okay. Interesting. And we are only spending seventy-eight hundred dollars, and we have twenty-eight thousand in payroll per month. Wow. Okay. So we probably have a lot of room to make some moves. No debt. That's good. I don't want to go overboard with the money, but we're going to need some pl players. Not very good but that may be what we can get. So, all right, I'm going to work on transfers and everything else. And when we come back, we'll take a little bit closer look at the club. I need to get them working on the tactics and uh, we'll go from there. So guys, let me know what you know about Eastbourne Boro. Yep. Eastbourne Boro. By the way, what's the club name? Uh, they're semi-professional Priory Lane. Do they have a nickname somewhere? The Sports. All right, I can go with that. So the Sports. Rivals with Lose, Crawley, Whitehawk, Hastings, Bognor, Regis. $13 a ticket. 185 season ticket holders. And we have one legend, a Shawnee Lee. Nice. All right, guys. Well, hit that like button for me. Again, uh, we're going to be flipping over. This will be season two, episode one. Coming up next, this will end up the done, uh, the, the previous save. And I already forgot Dunstable Town. Yeah, that's it. Ugh. That didn't go well. Um, let me know why you think I failed at Dunstable Town. And then any ideas about Eastbourne? What do you know about the area? What do you know about the club? I don't know anything about them, so I'd be interested to hear any feedback. Guys, thank you, as always, so much for just checking in, and we will see you for some matches next episode. Have a good one. Bye.